Hello there. My head looks pretty big right now, doesn't it? Well, that ties in with our lesson today. We are focusing on drawing big today. And I was trying to think of something that was really big that we could draw. So, what I thought of is one of my favorite animals, the cow. We're going to learn how to draw a cow today. And the focus on this is not really how good you draw the cow, but how big you draw the cow. Because drawing big is hard for a lot of people. It's kind of scary, and they always want to draw really small. And this cow looks very confused because he's so small in his giant home. So we're going to focus on drawing really big today, and we are going to draw a moo cow. The materials today will be a piece of paper, a pencil, something to add color, crayons, markers, colored pencil, whatever you need, and of course the optional Sharpie. Moo, 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 moo. That's cow for let's begin. So remember, the goal of this project is not necessarily how great your picture turns out, but can you draw large? Because a lot of people struggle with that. So let's start with the head. We are gonna draw nice and big. We're gonna start with the head with this U shape, like a big uppercase U. We'll go into the ears, curve over, curve down. It's almost like it's an oval. I just didn't finish it. Next, let's do the horns. So up on the top of the head, we're gonna go curve up, curve down, make a point. Curve up, curve down, I made a point. Good job. And now for the eyes, a circle or an oval will do. I like to draw a little circle on the inside and then when I color them in, I leave that white circle alone. That is the eye shine. It makes your eyes look like they're shiny. Very good. Next, we'll do the nose. So let's do a nice big oval. It really almost takes up the whole bottom part of this face here. So don't be afraid to make that big. We don't want it little like that. That'd be crazy looking. Okay, then his nostrils here in here and you can leave it like this this is more of a realistic cow face or if you'd like to add a smile you can do that too it's very cute all right body so remember big we have a big head have to have the body to match so touch the head kind of in the middle right here bring a straight line over and then curve it down and now we're gonna go down here. We're gonna start the legs. So I'm gonna go, here's one leg. Angle down, slanted line. Here's two legs. I kind of slanted that line up a little too. Okay, two back legs. Hoof, hoof, that's a hoof, that's a hoof. We did that with a straight line on each. We're going to do the belly now. So I'm going to do a stomach, his tummy. I did a curved line. I didn't put it all the way under his head. It kind of stopped, I'm going to say about like right here, somewhere around there. Then let's go ahead and touch the head. Bring this line down. Make the first foot again. Angle down over and connect these two and then add this line and this line to make the other two hooves let's add a tail wavy line of any kind that's kind of a long cow tail but you know what i'm gonna go for it maybe this cow does have a long tail then another one you just follow kind of the line you already did end it and add some hairs at the end of that cow's tail. Very good. If it is gonna have udders, you'll put it here. She's gonna be a wavy line. And we'll add some spots. Remember, cow spots don't look like this. That's like a Dalmatian. Those are too small. A nice big spot. A nice big spot. 
Don't forget the legs. You can put one on the ear. You can put one on the face. I'm gonna put a spot right here. Put spots wherever you think your cow should be spotted. And before we outline in color, let's go ahead and add a horizon line. That is the line that separates the sky from the ground. Because right now, we don't know where this cow is. It's floating in space. So let's add a horizon line. All I've got to do is straight line here. Let's pretend it's on top of the cow, but not really. There we go. And continue, continue. You could do a straight line, or even if you wanted it to look more like grass, you could make a different kind of line, a very grass texture line, and you could add some little grass details in there. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, and if you have a Sharpie, let's outline. If you don't, you can go ahead and start coloring. All right, if you have any big pencil lines that you didn't go over, make sure to erase those, especially since we're not gonna be coloring over the white part, because it will just stay white. Um, anything that's in this black part that's gonna be colored, we're just gonna end up coloring over it. But to make it look super nice, all great artists erase their extra pencil lines. All of them do. All righty. And now we color this beautiful, large format cow. <laughs> Ta-da! A cow. A large cow. Thanks for joining me today and practicing drawing big things. So keep practicing drawing big. I know it's hard because you want to draw tiny, but draw as big as you can. Always imagine as big as a cow. How big can I draw? As big as a cow. Remember that and have a great day. I'll see you next time. Adios!